Hey everyone, um, welcome back to my workbench. So I've got the, uh, the Nomad all put back together. Um, kind of a challenge getting all the wires folded back in. And uh, Clint asked me, who's, uh, want, who's got this Nomad modded to take a video of it. And he's concerned about video glitches. And I think I'm still seeing them. And I'm really frustrated why there's video glitches because I'm running the I'm running the screen off of a uh, regulated 12 volt supply I put a big 2200 microfarad cap on it I put a the wires are literally the shortest I can make them they're going from here to here so like a three inch span and I kept it away from other um, from other signals uh, this is the new glass screen protector on here but um so i just left the plastic on it for now so I'll turn it on so everything works uh my that i did the, the um controller one mod still works just fine everything all folded in i mean it was a challenge getting everything folded together but it's all in there let's see if i can capture a you see this is I'll play with it's actually really kind of cool playing with the uh, controller one mod. Let's see if I can capture a glitch here. Of course, it's not doing it right now. I did see one or two little glitches before. Let's see if I can get that happen again. Of course, now it's not. Hmm. I can't like discern a pattern of when the glitches. Sometimes when I turn it on, it glitches, and other times. It's just fine, which is just bizarre. Actually, I got to work on the real screen here. This video actually doesn't do it justice. Uh, the screen, the colors are much better in uh, real life. Of course, now there's no glitches this time. What the hell, man? Um, that doesn't make any darn sense. All right, so a minute ago, before I started this video, I saw a couple glitches, but I'm not seeing it this time around. Hmm. Well, isn't that strange? Anyway, um, this is the Nomad with the Controller 1 mod. I don't know if I'm entirely happy with this series of screens from, uh, Council 5. I don't know if it's, it was just this batch or what. These are a little different from previous batches I've had. They don't have the yeah, no screen glitches yet. Some color shifts. I'm, get, I'm getting some color shifts on Mickey Mouse, not on other games I've tried. Getting a few color shifts and ran, sometimes it does no glitches, sometimes it glitches. Um, only other thing I can think of doing is uh, this is an older screen that I just happen to have in stock. The only disadvantage, this one has a little, it shows AV1 when you first power it up. I don't know if that's a huge deal. Uh, but placement-wise, I think it's about the same. So I think it would more or less fit. Uh, but I'd have to check that out. So uh, Clint let me know. So after this, I gotta work on that CDX tomorrow. I've been fighting something cold or COVID-like for the last few days, so we'll see if I can uh, work on that. It's, it's more difficult than I thought. It's a lot of fiddling back and forth with uh, potentiometers. Of course, now it doesn't glitch out. Maybe it glitch out this time. 
don't know if we want to try to swap out of the screen or what. I'm just a little frustrated with, uh, it's like, okay, I get all put back together again. Come on, glitch on me. Hmm. Well, it looks good now. Tch, go figure. Does that have to warm up? Which it happened when it started it cold. And see, now it looks good. Oh, okay. Oh, Clinton, let me know which way he wants to go with this. Um, so, uh, next video is going to be um, working on the um, CDX. Got okay, right over here. So, looks good now. I love, I love these new glass screens. They're so, uh, show you, it's nice and clear and scratch resistant. So if you ever do it, it only costs like a dollar or two more than the, plastic, the original plastic screen, uh, which is nice. And everything went back together nice. All the controls are, are nice and snappy on it right now. And the controller one mod is actually came out really nice and uh, really nice and flush. The only thing that's sticking out is the the uh, button head screws there. And uh, of course, this button where this button up here. This is turns the screen off and on, so if you want to consoleize it, you can plug in your AV out here, and then you can plug in two controller ports, and you get yourself a little Genesis, which is kind of cool. And uh, I've already done videos on the uh, battery packs, but I'm gonna finish those up tonight um, and uh, charge those up and get them going, and then work on that CDX. I'm trying to get it done this weekend. Hopefully, I don't slip much more doing these but I got one screw I need to put back in. well I didn't bother putting the anti-tamper screw back in for now I should I'll probably swap that out with a uh, conventional Phillips but yeah it looks nice there's a lot of stuff in there there's a lot of wires I had to fiddle with to, it's all routed through here all crazy but it's all there because I had to wire up power from here to the 12 volt buck converter to the screen and then there's all the wires for the uh, controller one are hooked into the uh, circuitry that's actually used for the um, conventional controls. So, uh, not sure. I saw some glitches before. I'm not seeing them now. That's weird. But I do have I got two or three of these older screens. Uh, I haven't. I've never had problems with these older screens. They just have the little player one so the av1 logo show up for an instant but uh virtually identical i can't say i'm entirely in love with this large board uh bracket the it tends to uh, uh, and the original screen holder actually was held in place with four screws on the board here so when you're moving everything around it's all moved up as one unit this one the screen the little bracket is just snaps together and then everything's held in place with the board which is okay but it makes it really hard to reassemble so i would prefer that they had some standoffs in there uh so you can screw it in like the old screen used to be so yeah live and learn let me see where's it at yeah, this is the, the screen I pulled out from it. I'll show you. Uh, this is the original screen here with its nifty uh, trans uh, retro reflector on the back. But you can see here one, two, three, four. They had four screw holes, so when you when it was mounted, it sat in there just like this. Um, it was holding on to the board itself, so it made it much easier when you reassemble. So I wish when they made the bracket, they kept those uh, guiding posts there so it can hold them in place. Uh, they did do some, uh, they do have features that mates up with the front case here, and that's fine. It includes even where the low battery LEDs at, but uh, yeah, not my favorite. But so this Nomad's in good shape. This one is. Uh, the uh, controls are nice and tight. Uh, there really was the most minor of um, liquid ingress, but that's pretty common uh, on portables. They usually get wet at least once in their existence, but this one was real minor. It was just a little bit over uh, over here, uh, but no biggie. 
I've seen that before. But other than that, this one's in real shape. All the silk screening still in good shape. And uh, yeah, it's nice and clean. So, well, I'll try it again later with the battery packs. Uh, I test the battery. I'll test, when I test the battery packs, I'll do another video and uh, do that. But in the meantime, I might pause and uh, hop on that CDX and get that done. It's Saturday, so be should be able to work on that tomorrow. Or worst case, get it done Monday because I'm actually working from home. Because if you have any kind of cold symptoms, they don't let you go back to work for ten days. So I'm waiting for the results on my COVID test. Yippee! So know if I'm an infectious agent or not so everyone thanks for watching and have a great weekend